flight time will be 10 hours and 45 minutes. Cruising at an altitude of 40,000 feet. For your listening pleasure, there are 12 channels. So with your relaxation, enjoy some cool vibration. Oh yeah, listen, I'm, 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 I'm the best in the game right All now. Right, welcome back. Yes. How you doing, Wappy? I'm not doing very well. You're not doing very well. Uh, you know what I think is going to... Uh-huh. Crack you up? Yeah. Of course. Let's do it. Of course. We didn't clink. We have to, it's after. There's All no right. rules here. By the way, you're still opening the, the bottles with the Yeah. Like the the, the, the opposite is my bum, so <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you guys don't wanna see that, do you? Uh, some fans like that joke, by the way. Yeah, I'm. I'm very. They 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 imagined you opening a bottle with your buttocks. That's a great use of imagination. With your you ass cheeks. Yeah, I'm a duck. Think of stripper tick. Input tick. Think of me. <laughs> Think of me like that. <laughs> I like it. Visualize. And you have been stripper tick before. Uh, yeah, but let's not. We're not going. Into that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going into that right now. I have been a stripper before, though. No, you haven't. Mm-hmm. No, you haven't. No, I have. you have not. I have. When? A girl's party. Really? Yeah. Like, like private. It, like, it, not. It was a private party. Not like I was called for my professional service. Right, but you were just this particular just girl who of, I was seeing yeah. at that time was having a party, and I was the surprise. Really? Yeah. Oh. Will you pay for that? No. Well, I was paid in kind. If you know what I'm saying. Ah! <laughs> 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 Did she enjoy it? The payments? As what she said, you can never trust women and their assessments of your sexual prowess. Yeah, man. Do you think, like, you have a fear, like, based off the people you have not slept with Uh since we're not, (laughs) since you don't sleep with anybody, based off these non existent people, do you think you've got a fair analysis of, like, how good your sex game is? Um, I think. I think it's fair, and why why I say it's fair? You think they're lying to you? Uh, no, because I think it's fair if if because because sex sex is done to a person. It's not it's not you don't you know. Excuse me. It's done to a person. Like if if you and I are having sex, for example. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show. Yeah? <laughs> Listen, man, if you and I haven't said, mm-hmm. I'm doing you, you're doing me. Mm. So, <laughs> your sex game is based on my satisfaction. I see. Your sex game mm. is based on my. <laughs> Everything on is. Your, on your, my sex game is based on your satisfaction. I see. That's what I mean. So, um, you know, a woman is going to tell you, okay, you're good. You're yeah, so that's why I'm asking, do you right. believe the assessments you have been getting? I haven't been getting any assessments. You don't get like a report card at the end, this was um, really bad. Well, well, in a way, in a way. Do like better you, next it's, time, it's, see it's, me after work. Yeah, well, <laughs> the thing is, here's the thing, here's the thing, and uh, and I hope that more Zambians can, can actually... Um, um, to grade each other's sex? Yes. Okay. Uh, we, you know, most of the... I'm, I'm, I'm privileged enough to have hang out with ladies that would tell you that, okay... This is what you should do to me and whatnot. I think that's important. Mm. Tell me what you want me to do to you as opposed to me guessing. Mm. Because if I guess, I might get it wrong. You but you, do you think we're, we're at that point? Well, I guess, like, yeah, I'm being a little bit uh, mm. naive by thinking that a lot of our women folk aren't that aware. And that's why I said that Mozambian people, both men and women, need to get to that point. Women... Tell us what you want us to do to you. Men, don't be, you know, don't be too proud to ask a woman, you know, are you, are you, are you having fun with this? Should I try something different during sex? Okay, that's why I have a good sex life. All right. This is my sex life. Where did you get this assessment from? (laughs) This is what I'm asking about. (laughs) You're saying you don't get graded. I you do. know when I get graded what I give? Uh. D. <laughs> <laughs> I 
How do I get you all the time? <laughs> I should have seen that. I should have seen that. I should have seen that. How you doing, bro? I'm okay, man. Um, um, you wanted to talk about something. Yeah, before we jump to that, how how you been? How's how's uh, welcome back from from the last episode? I've been know? happy, actually. I've been happy. Um, uh, you know, if I could, if I could, if I could stroke my ego a little bit. Started from I think sex. Now we're going to stroking. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Uh huh. I think I'm, I'm doing great, man. I think I'm doing great. I've been happy the past week. Yeah, I've been happy the past week. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. I've how'd been happy you, the past week. How'd you like the reception to the pod? Uh, the reception to the pod. I think the people uh, like our visuals. That was good. I think uh, what what our, our last episode was the most viewed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most, most viewed predicted. Of all the Prophet tick. Yeah, well, <laughs> of all the podcasts that we've done, all the episodes, that was the highest viewed, and I think this viewed. one's going to be more viewed by the, than that one. Really? Yeah, I think this one will double those views. Let's let, let's do that shit then. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, and thanks to everybody who gets this show, by the way. Oh yeah, um, you know what I mean, uh, like I said, uh, Prophet Wappy. I said I'll never come to your church. <laughs> I had said it's like you wear big jackets. <laughs> <laughs> I had said yeah. that uh, I had said that that uh, that that we we are accumulating a cult following. Don't call it a cult, man. <laughs> it is a cult. It is a cult. We're starting a cult. It is a cult. Yeah, we're starting uh, a cult. And, and okay. uh, I get to be Jesus, though. And uh, you know, welcome to everybody else who just you know yeah yeah if you come jumped along on the bandwagon or whatever. Welcome to this. Uh, mm-hmm. Hope you stay. Uh, so let's get to the. Hope we don't disappoint you. I hope I disappoint you. You could do with some disappointment in your life. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Nothing. All you're gonna do is like watch another episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was disappointed with the last episode. I hope they're going yeah. to do better with this one. <laughs> yeah, I hated the people who were like, yo, now you should, like somebody was like, yo, you should invite k Star on the show. And I was like, no. Why is it, why, why is it that everybody wants to like, I don't like, know. I, are I, you I, and K-Star twins or something like that? I mean, we're going to have k Star on the show, obviously, one yeah, day. Yeah, but, like, but, but, like, but I think people are used to seeing us together. Right. Yeah. Oh, so when they think take, they think, Right. Yeah, like while we were dating, that uh, yes. that to one period. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, we were, yeah. We're that, a couple. That, that time when you were a couple. Yeah, that I think people are just when you were that. sleeping on the same bed. Yeah, power couple. Yeah, we were a power couple. You were a power couple. Yeah, on the same bed, mm-hmm. in the same blanket. And much like Kanye, we've both grown from our divorce and we've we've gone our separate ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know um, yeah. So. Um, uh, Welcome to the podcast. We hope you stay. You know, um, if if you don't stay, that's still fine. You know what I mean? That's cool too. That's cool um, too. Today, I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about since we cut the cameras off right. last time. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, the things that obstruct greatness. Uh huh. In particular, the things that are obstructing Africa's greatness. Africa's greatness. Yeah. If you could do an audit mm. of Africa. Mm. Can we try to spend today's episode trying yeah, to, re- yeah. you know what I mean? Trying to review certain that. things and like, hey that. man, this this is holding us back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, do you think like off the cuff something that, you know, what 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 do you think? Um, first of all, I the, Africa is large. Africa is big, man. Yeah. Africa is big. We've got West Africa, we've got... You know, East Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like if we had to generalize the question, mm-hmm. it's going to be a little bit. Um, we might do a disservice with the dis- this discussion. You know, unless you have traveled everywhere. I mean, look, because man, I think that there are some about, parts of Africa that are doing. I think well, Africa's problems uh-huh. generally are similar. 
Okay. You know what I give mean? Me, give me an example. So For you example, can set me in the. So I yeah. can set you in the mood. I yeah. think uh, religion should be separated from state in all countries in Africa. Okay, that's a good start. You know what I mean? That's a good start. I think either way, whether that's whether you without mentioning a religion or creed, right, right. like it should just be a separation entirely. And I agree with that one. You know. Uh, okay, is there another one, or we do we do we go into that one? Because I mean, I want to I want to dive into that, man. I, I want to dive into right. like, the harm that religion has done to Africa. Um. All right. Okay. Let's you know get into I mean? it. Let's get into it. Let's get into and it. And like, here's what I think. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. Um. You are right. You know, state and religion should not be a thing. You know, yeah, should not be like that. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. You know, especially okay. Let's 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 come back to Zambia, right? Um, Zambia is a Christian nation. Was declared by a politician, bro. I was alive. I saw that live on right. TV. I was out like I was born when that happened, mm -hmm. right? And. I didn't know how that statement would change our lives. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it was declared by a politician who, by the way, you know, God rest his soul, does not have, uh, you know, has both a good reputation as a politician, but towards the end of his career as a politician had a bad reputation. Yeah. You know, and his bad reputation is something that a Christian would not Agree with you understand? Yeah. Right. So that's the person. It was not agreed upon, by the way. But now it's 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 infused in 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 our lives, in our constitution. Bro, like the last whatnot. regime, who were praying yeah. away economic problems. Exactly. So that's the most see, that's, nuts thing uh -huh. in the world. So <laughs> that's the problem. That's the problem with Zambia is a Christian nation. Therefore, the problem is anyone can come through and say, well. As a president or as whatever, we have poverty in our country. We have corruption in our country. We have gassing in our country. We have uh, crime in our country. We have war. We have what? We have anything that we're suffering from. Let's go pray about it. Yeah, it's a funny. And, and everybody's going to go. It yes, makes, it, it it removes, it indemnifies the sitting, the mm -hmm. the, the government of the day mm -hmm. from the actual issue. Yes, it says no. This is a punishment exactly. from God. Exactly. So That's I have nuts. I have a family. Let's say I have a family, right? I'm a father. I have a wife. I've got maybe five kids and whatnot. Okay, That's a lot of kids. Because of my yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, I can have 15 if I want. Let's say I have 15. I mean, that's the next... All right, keep going. I'm okay. going to jump in there. So, I'm incompetent as a father, right? As a provider. Mm. My wife is too. Mm. But, okay, let's say that my wife is expecting me to provide. Mm. Okay? And I'm not bringing in the, uh, the money, the food, whatnot. Yes? Just bringing the sperms. Yes. I'm plowing the wife every, every, every <laughs> Sunday, it. right? That's it. You think that's your job? So now... My kids go, well, we're hungry. We need some food, you know. And the wife goes, well, we need to pay the bills. Rent is up, right? Electricity, water, and whatnot. And guess what my answer is to all those complaints? Let's pray about it. Let's pray. Yeah. God is going to provide. Yeah. That because is the he problem. has done so the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been you who has been it, going no, out to work. No, it's been no. him somehow. Uh, 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 you know, uh, food is just going to drop from the sky. Yeah. Okay. Rent money, hey, it's going to drop from the heavens. Utility bills from the heavens. That's that what's going to happen. It's so dangerous to Africa. It's been keeping us so poor for so long. Yeah, I believe so too. So poor here's the for thing. So long. Here's the thing. I say, I say that, I say that a drug dealer sells dope. A preacher sells hope. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Dope I mean, I think they, I think they both thing. sell hope. In a way, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think they both sell hope. Uh -huh. One is just packaged in a, a different a, way, a different way, you know. And that's why there's a drug problem and a religion problem. Do you think that I'm going to come to church if you don't tell me that I'm going to make your life better? I'm not. You know, uh, another thing ah, I almost forgot. What the hell did I want to touch on? Yeah, mm -hmm. how religion, right? Outside of it being, outside of it affecting state, mm. it also directly affects household. 
It does. All right? Yeah. In that, go out and multiply. And, and right? by the way, it doesn't necessarily yeah. translate mm-hmm. in a third world economy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the idea ingrained in people is like a sign of a good marriage. The gift from God is many children. Ah. Oh. You get what I mean? So you okay. may be a nigga earning 500 kwacha. Mm-hmm. Like, my last graft, um, when I was... By the way, graft for, uh, you know, people that do not understand... No, if they don't understand... Own right. language, or right. XA language, graft is work. Your baliism. Um, <laughs> my last graph though was a guy who was handling like a manual labor on the premises, right? And he he got like I think seven hundred kwacha, mm. and this guy had like five kids, like grown ass kids. You right, know what I mean? Right, like right, right. kids were going to school, and it always boggled my mind, like because I was earning higher than him, but for me alone, I was like, you know what I mean? I was like, how does is this nigga robbing niggas? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm. how's he doing this? Mm. And this nigga used to play like Betway. Right. Right? And like, that's another level of getting robbed as well. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 I'm right, like, right. What the fuck is going on? But I just view all that as the how religion has affected society, like down to just the mindset. Religion has, we have, we have been indoctrinated mm. And it's down to our subconscious. And if anyone knows this, and I'm not even like, I'm not even like, uh, I don't want to become mystical guy. You know what I mean? I'm not even like the the the. I'm not, I'm not a psychologist or anything like that. But I You're do know. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Shout out to my ex. <laughs> oh. So here's the thing. Yeah. I'm not a psychologist or whatever, but I know that if something goes down to your subconscious, yeah. Then it it now it, it it's now like a puppeteer. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if I could give a shout out, man, like can I give a shout out? Mm-hmm. Um, I want to give a shout out to to Tio, Abel Chungu, and Pompey when they did this uh, the Empty Throne song. Okay. There's a line in the song that says, uh, uh, you know, that that talks about the 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 hard work of, of Africans and whatnot, or mm. especially Zambians and all that, mm. like your your work couch and all that, and it, mm. it talks about fear, and uh, I think Tio says, uh, you're letting fear be the puppeteer mm. obviously he was trying to rhyme, mm. but he was right so, Tio <laughs> puppeteer, <laughs> hey so here's the thing Just had to throw in a little when song. something goes down to your subconscious mm. it becomes the puppeteer you don't even know why you're doing stuff you're just like, oh my god, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I, I have no money I have no money, but I'm going to I'm gonna get married at I'm gonna be years the old. best rapper in the country I have no money, I can't afford this but I'm gonna have five kids mm. you know, you don't even know what's going it's on what, yeah, it's, it's and, what controls you on a certain exactly. level exactly, so religion Besides just being indoctrinated, it's down to people's uh, subconscious, African subconscious. You know, they do certain things, and there's certain certain judgments, certain things that we go through, and all that stuff is down to religion. Yeah. Okay, and I'm saying this, I'm saying this. This is this is real. This yeah. is real. Okay, this is real. You you you're you're thinking, oh, what's the problem? Why do we have uh, you know cat collars and and why can't a woman walk? Why through? do we have pedophiles? Yeah, why why can't a woman walk through the market and then without you know in a, in, a, in a short dress without being uh, you know uh, harassed and whatnot? Yeah, religion. Yep, religion is telling you a woman can't walk around. Yeah. with her thighs out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Books but that were man, written by men. But a man can walk around with his thighs out. Are you going to rip apart his uh, shorts? No. But why can't a woman do that? It's all... It's it's religion. It, 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 it's down to your mind. You that's, what I would, that's, even, what I even, that's what I would remove. That's what I would hold it. Even, See, and even like, sexism is, is, is down to religion. Sexism is a thing? Yeah, it is. What, what does it mean? Misogyny, sexism. You don't know sexism? Oh, it's like one of the isms like that. Yeah, it is. Sex- oh, sexism. sexism. I thought sexism is like when you just like sex. <laughs> That's what you thought? <laughs> yeah, I thought like you were sex. That, that- <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? A sexer? <laughs> you, 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 yeah, sexer. I, I, would, I would be a sexer. I think yeah, I'd, you I'd, would be, be a sexer. A, sex- no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. There's a word. There's a word. Uh, extremist? Sexologist. Let's, let's form a word before we, 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 we go back to the topic. So there's an extremist. 
extremist, an enthusiast, and Sex whatnot. Matizer. So let's say it's ah, because there's that is there, again. bro. <laughs> an enthusiast. Think about it. Sexist. Check. Sex Matizer. There's thighs in there. What's your what your deal with th- okay but let's go back to it man mm. so sexism mm. is uh is prejudice yeah based, no, i know based on your based on gender, sexual right. orient or your gender and misogyny as well so that comes from religion mm. it comes from religion it, mm. it does come from religion. those are the first misogynists yeah right <laughs> a woman can preach mm. those are the first ones woman can walk around with Calvin her hair out preach, you know, all Calvin these things you know like it's I find them so ridiculous. What, what would you remove? Huh? And you know, like I was about to say, it should be audited. Yeah. But truly, deep down inside me, mm-hmm. me myself, if I was if I was ever like to be right, in the right. power to dictate mm-hmm. everything, mm-hmm. I think it would be removed entirely. Uh, I would remove it too. I think I'd like to see what the human population would do without religion. Not just the human, and and I'm trying so much to uh, to bring it down to our people. Because uh, much as much as listen, I'm, I I I love all. Humans By the way, I'm not talking about spirituality. I know I, I know that. I'm, as much as I love all humans on Earth and all that, I would like to see all Africa. I would like to see Africa progress. You know? I'd like to see Africa back on top. Exactly. Not progress. Really, not progress. Not progress. Back, back on top. Back on top. Exactly. Black progress should. I'd really love that's to see. That's the lie of the fucking and, age. And, and that's religion. The religion should be. Religion is the number one thing that we should, you know, we should work on. If we are going to use religion in in whatever way, and what people don't realize that religion is, uh, you know, is an is a structure. Is a is a structure yeah. that. And, and and with any structure, with any structure, I always say that what's what do you think is the 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 the, the weakest link to a to a, a security system at a bank, for example? What do you think is the weakest link? This is super technology, super advanced. What do you think is the weakest link? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't think. I'll think okay. God. So I'll give, uh, uh, there you go. Mm. You actually got it. Yeah. The weakest link is yeah, the human. When I was robbing banks, we'd start with the God. Ah, I remember that time you were robbing banks. The weakest link is the human. Were you there? Uh, were you a God? Have uh, you been a God before? No, I was. I think I was. A... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The weakest link is the human. Mm. That's the weakest link. I've never robbed banks. By so, the way. so <laughs> just, when you when you form that's a structure, a joke, you crazy people. It's not a joke. Week- you know, like, like if the cops pull up, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of unsolved bank robbery. Take shut the fuck up! Yeah, like the one at Bande Hill, the one where we used, I mean, the one where they used. <laughs> so when you form a structure, yeah, the structure is going to be perfect, mm. and I think the structure of religion is perfect. I disagree. Wait, it's perfect for its intended purposes and whatever, mm. right? But then you are you are it's a structure and there 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 are human beings running the structure yes. the system and those human beings are imperfect very, very fallible they're exactly very, they are imperfect you know they what? are corrupt they are what Do you know what? Stuff. if we're counting properly because they they make the game a bit difficult for themselves yeah right none of us were counting our sins uh-huh. you know what I mean yeah. but if we were to start counting. Uh-huh. May I ask him these ones who are even doing the counting? The people in charge of the counting of mm, the sins mm, mm, are the ones who have got them in like quadruple digit numbers, bro. I'm telling you. Because so, what the hell? So you come back to you come nah, back to you, you come back to state and religion, mm. right? You come back to state and religion. I don't even think any of these politicians are following what they're talking about. Yeah. Or they, they even believe. It's not feasible. It's not, you right? So they just go like for formality or for the show possible. or whatnot. Oh, let's go pray about corruption. You can't be but, religious and be a human being. Exactly. Yeah. So you say, let's go pray about corruption. The moment we're done, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do, you know, corrupt acts or whatever, right? So religion, religion plus Africa equals shit, diarrhea. I, don't I, think I swear, religion was ever supposed to set foot in Africa? Never. And, and and how did religion even come here in the first place? I wonder those things. 
It's a very simple story. But we know those. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very simple story. Shaka was there trying to, you know, he's he's there, you know, creating the Asa guy or whatever. No, but that was like also anyway. Never mind. I don't mean to like glamorize right. uh, whatever was there before. I just mean to the progression of Africa. Religion is a detriment, and I think for us to progress as a continent, we need to separate religion from state. Separate religion from state. Separate religion from uh, from from um, uh, social con- construct from fate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, religion. Okay, let let me give an example. Religion from marriage, for example. Yeah. Right? Se- just separate, like okay. Look, listen, I don't, let, I don't, let, let religion, I don't have as let, much beef let with religion people be, practicing this shit in their I, house. That's what I'm saying. I just don't want it to be mandatory let for religion, all of us to follow what your religion says. Let religion be a choice, okay, mm. an option. Yes, I want to be religious. What do they call them in school? Those are the, the uh, these subjects. Are R E. No, religion. there was a name for them. What's the collective name? You had the subjects you are taking, and then the the other ones that were what? Oh, the 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 um. No, 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 no. There was no option. No, there was another name for them. There was a name for them. There was uh, there was that um, there was a name like this. You have to do, and this you can mm. you can choose. Yeah. There was a name for them. It wasn't and, optional. And, and religious education was not an option, was it? Yeah, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was, it was, it was, it was mandatory. It was compulsory. Compulsory and. Was and Compulsory? Was no, it wasn't optional. It was compulsory. No, they taught us compulsory. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> yeah, compulsory. So, um, so like <laughs> From religion. Compelled. Yeah, you're compelled. This is not to say and and, and 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 listen. This is this is straight 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 to to the listeners of our podcast. I'm not trying to suggest that um, that you should give up. I'm not religious myself, and I'm not trying to say that you know anybody else should not be religious. I'm saying that it should be an option. The way I chose not to be religious, mm. so it should not be a mandatory thing, and you, you should not attach religion to state. Yeah. A president, oh, uh, a president, like trying to trying to pander to people, to his people by going to church when he doesn't even believe, like, like. Seriously, you, 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 you go you, you, you go to this church and this is your domain what, what do you call it? Dominion? We're giving the we're giving the And then you and then you go and then, and, then, and then you go you go to Way you too go much to, power. Those you, people should not be in charge of you, deciding. You go to church on Friday, bro. You go to church to fr- you go to church on Friday. They think that some people Saturday, are going to hell. Sun- How do you think they will decide something for those people? Mm. You know what I mean? It's just not feasible. You and I are going to hell though. Good luck, and I'll be happy. To to, I'll, I'll be happy to see you there because this podcast continues there as well. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. 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 After dark. After yeah. The hell edition. After great, life. The greatest scene as <laughs> the greatest scene when, as ever. When we're there, we're gonna call it the hot podcast. Oh man, you, what? you need to. <laughs> Because it's like you need, you need fire and that. stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> call it that dead podcast. Oh, oh yeah, that dead podcast. What else is? Would you, if there's something you would audit outside? Because I'm, I'm okay. I've got all right, a list. okay. No, no, I, I do have a list too. Yeah, uh, I, do. I have a list shit. too. Uh, confidence, mm. confidence. Yeah, very simple word. You mean it? Very simple. Yeah, very simple word. Very simple word. Very common word. And a lot of people don't appreciate it and all that stuff. But confidence, all right, the opposite of what we practice in Zambia, which is be humble. Humility. Yeah, be humble. Humility don't 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 talk about don't talk about how don't talk about how dope you are. Don't talk about how dope you are. If you're good at something, don't do that. What you've been suffering from. Don't, every, don't every, say that you inspired the entire Zambian industry. Don't say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> be humble. Be humble. All right. We need to flip that. Yeah. We need to go to confidence, mm. you know. And I'll tell you this: confidence is what everybody keeps saying. Oh, uh, yeah, I know there are a lot of elements and whatnot, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, function-wise and whatnot with uh, with 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 music in yeah. Africa. But the one thing I think has made Nigeria, for example, confidence. Confidence. 
Nigerians were making movies. Young for and they were making <laughs> movies. Nollywood yeah. was making. Right now, when you Those look, motherfuckers ruined my childhood. When you are look, when you when you when you're looking well, at a Nollywood I look star, back, I don't think they ruined my childhood. Mm. I think they gave me the information I needed about who they were. Exactly. You know what I mean? Those guys were confident. Nollywood became bigger because of confidence. The music industry became bigger because of confidence. Same thing that's Same happening thing for SA. in Africa. Oh, uh, South Africa, sorry. Same thing for SA. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. SA confidence. was first to that game, by the way. Africa needs to be confident. There was something about how they weaponized their culture yeah. into their art. Mm-hmm. They were first to that game. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was because of like the aftermath of they had to find like some... Something to be happy about post 1994. I was at. Uh, you know what I mean? They uh-huh. focused more inward. Right. But SA really beat us to that punch, bro. They did. They really came through with SA, some. Nigeria. Some Mindela, some, Tanzania, right? Yeah. Tanzania, Kenya, maybe, mm. right? Someone was telling me mm. the other day that the biggest artist in Africa is uh, uh, Diamond Platinum. Yeah. 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 I yeah. Didn't know that. yeah. 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 And 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 if, well, that's if, 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 to how if, many people you know. And if you look at how, if you look at his timeline, yeah, you know, this guy started out as a capiopio and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So confidence is something that we need to work on in Africa as well. Like we need to be confident in our culture, our traditions. Uh, you know our lives, what we do, what we can't do, whatever. We need to be confident about that because it's so embarrassing, man. Someone was telling me uh, I was at, you know, one mentioned the name. I was at an exhibition. You know about that, right? Yeah, yeah. And someone was saying like, how come? This is why I would have said shout out Teresa Nambi. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Teresa <laughs> Nambi by the way. Yeah. How come people come from Europe? Come to Zambia, and they're the ones appreciating our culture, yeah. and we are not appreciating our culture. Yeah. You know, it's always so Europeans coming sad. to our country so wanting to sad. see some drums play. It's so fucking sad. wanting to see some traditional dances dance. You know what happened? Zambians don't even want to do that. You know what happened? I went out uh, Iteji, Iteji, uh-huh. to a certain establishment there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's European owned, or like the owner is like European or whatever. Right. Or the manager, I don't know. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Let me not cause drama for them. <laughs> uh, but uh, they saw me and uh, my madame, who is like of European descent, right? And so she was really nice mm-hmm. to her. Right. And then I walked off to have a cigarette, and later on I find out it's like, yo, man, you shouldn't be with. You know, so and so, like just giving these like very segregatory remarks, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but this is the Z, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why can't I come and see this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some. And that's that, there's a a lot of that in the confidence. Mm -hmm. Because when I looked around Mm -hmm. while I stood there, I was like, a lot of the ones who look like me are grafters here. Yeah. But. You know what I mean? But but, but it's law. So it must even be spooky to them. Mm -hmm. You know? When an old man is like, ah, no, no, this one must be up to something. I was raised, I was raised, I was raised by my grandmother. And my grandmother was a badass. You know? I even called in uh, on Women's Day, I even called in uh, uh, at a radio uh, station. And they were asking, like, they were asking about, they were asking about, like, you know, you know, women and whatnot, and blah blah blah, and all that stuff. So I called him and I said, My grandmother had 12 kids. Yeah. Half of those kids she gave birth in a bathtub on her own. That's some gangster shit. All right, she played midwifery on her own, right? Is that what is it? That's what it's called. Midwifery. Yeah, midwifery. <laughs> some ninja, ninja yeah. maneuver. My grandmother could walk into any bush and find medicine for anything. You know what I mean? That's that African stuff, man. Like we're supposed to, we're supposed to embrace we're that. We're supposed to be confident. In we're that. supposed to be confident in that. Everyone is talking about, oh, we have medicine for COVID, and we've got these shots for COVID and whatnot. Like, who was I telling? And we and and people, people. You know what's nuts about uh, our remedies, right? Is that they haven't changed regardless of 
the disease. It doesn't. Right? It doesn't matter. But still, the biggest thing out now, the most popular, the, the star mm. of the diseases right now mm. is Mr. COVID. Right. But even him, he can be nabbed by steaming yourself. Listen, <laughs> my, I was, people were, people, people on faith, on, on social media were going crazy about, oh, ukufukutila, you know, steaming yourself yeah. and stuff like that. I was like, guys, I've been doing this shit in my, yeah. my in my childhood. I, my, I when I was living with my grandmother, I never went to the hospital. Nigga, that shit got rid of my bronchitis, nigga. What are you talking about? What are Listen, you saying? Let me let, let me give you some examples. Let me let me let me give you that Africa. All right, let me give you that Africa. I you have like malaria. Germany. You have malaria. All right, herbs, a, a pot. Wait, wait, for, which which herbs? I, I don't even remember. Okay. <laughs> Boiling water, all right. Blanket, chadi, mm-hmm. yeah, chadi, yeah, heavy one. Mm-hmm. Stay in there. You're good. Uh, Just you get know, that blanket. Are you are you are you, are you constipated? Are you constipated? My grandmother is going to first give you a shot of cooking oil, all right. Then tell you to bite on a cooking stick. You understand? Mm. That's the Africa right there, bro. Uh, are you are you are you hungry? You don't have food. You don't have relish, All right? Get those uh, get those maprampatas. That's what I wish. Excuse me, sir. You've been saying <laughs> a lot of <laughs> what, are, what are maprampatas? That's uh, that sounds like exactly. A, a dance. If, you, if you don't know them, then you do, then you know it's that's like a, not Africa right there. It's a it's a it's a biscuit. It's a biscuit mm. that you that you make from uh, from milly meal and sugar. Hey, I know the prompteezos. Exactly. I'm with the prompt. I told you, man. Yeah, man. You don't have to you. prompt my prompts. Are you hungry again? My grandmother used to. There's a there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a hedge. There's a hedge that the, the, the you know the the fancy schmancies use it as a hedge. Mm-hmm. We we used to cook it. We, and we we would I would uh, my grandmother would tell me. Go you to the neighbor's, your neighbor's edge. Yes, when it's when it's like uh, oh, this, you know overgrown well, and whatnot. Yeah, when it's overgrown, they even used to call us when it's overgrown. <laughs> before they start <laughs> cutting <laughs> it, <laughs> before they start cutting it and stuff, they'll be like, "They said musweko, ngamwaso, mwaso, mwaso." Then they cut it. Us will go to cook that shit. It I love delicious. that community shit, man. You know what I mean? I really love, like, you just remember. That's me that of, Africa. We need to be confident in that stuff, man. You just me of, like, Kitwe houses mm. and how they are stacked together and how, like, wall fences and, like, you know what I mean? You just reminded me of, like, you just took me back to the, to the yeah. belt a little bit. That's that Africa. So we're on second, right? Yeah. Third. Tell me um, about it. I would like us to get rid of these borders that were imposed on us. Borders, right? Yeah, I would um, like uh, because this was. I'm the, not very good with my history, but uh, I do have um, I do have an idea that borders came about as as you know you and I and a couple of other jokers we go into an area and we just go this is my this is my that's line. not what this happened that's that's not that's what happened, not what happened for no. us what happened what happened for us was uh, during the during a conference what conference was it. It is now called the Berlin yeah, Conference. During, However, yeah. at the time, it was not called. What was it called? It was called the Africa Conference. Okay, but yeah. But there have been several conferences about yeah. Africa. But I think yeah. I did read about it. Yeah, in, so in the, the Berlin book, Conference, uh, this French guy, what's his name? Uh, the, the guy who, who got Congo. The Belgian man, yeah. Leopold. Yeah, King Leopold, King Leopold uh, wanted. Mm. Yeah, he wanted to split mm. this up because, mm. like, mm. he had he had had some people come to Africa. And I know about that guy. I know so about that. So he made this conference. Henry Wilson Stanley, who famously said, "Doctor Livingston, I presume, yeah. was working for Leopold. He was sent bankrolled by Leopold to go discover." Well, the the guy who came up with the the the, the uh, you know Doctor Livingston, I yeah, that guy, yeah, he uh-huh. was here on official duty. Ah right. Yeah, he was marking territory. So, oh. so he was a surveyor. Yeah, oh. basically. So, in a continent far away from here, a decision was made to draw lines on this piece of land. Mm-hmm. Right. That decision cut tribes in half. Oh yeah. Cut political oh, yeah. systems was, oh, in half. Oh my goodness. I was, I, was, right? I was actually about to be you know off I mean? when you were saying that because. Even in our history books, right? We we know that there was a lot of migrations and whatnot, like yeah, like yeah. like sort of like an, like an ocean, like like our, the African the Africans have were fluid, 
Like it wasn't like oh no, we're gonna stay here or this. Or, no, they would no, listen, always like can you go to flow and whatnot. Just like that, just like that. You can't, right? Yeah. So already we are not functioning. Look at what we did to function. Mumbai. Look at what we did to Mumbai. Actually. Right, right. Over a line that was drawn. Over a line elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Uh huh. About us, right? And I don't want to make this too political. I just think. Nah, fuck it. We can be political. I, if want. I just think uh. that that holds back Africa from its greatness, because me looking at somebody from Katanga region as somebody from Katanga region uh-huh. desensitizes me from the plight of someone in the Katanga region. I start to think I'm a Zambian, and that's a Congolese. And you know, and you know right? what? However, if I thought of us all as Africans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would do something about that. Here's what's beautiful about here's what's beautiful about South Africa. Africa is a good example. Yeah. Of what that does. Right. Mm. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. It creates an opportunity. Yeah. Mm. Here's what's beautiful, right? Here's what's beautiful. Um, I listen to when I'm watching um, African content, yeah, which is not Zambian. All right. I can. I, I don't understand the language, but I can pick certain things out of it. It's one language, and and it, it tells me that it's there's a language. thread it's connecting one us one all. Language, yeah, it's one. I want to plug, I want to plug something on this show. It's mm. uh, Ali Mazuri's Africa: A Triple Heritage. Mm. Ali Mazuri is one of the greatest writers that has ever existed in Africa. Thank you. Um, and I'll check him out. He did this thing that used to be on ZNBC back in the day, mm. right? And one day I found it. I found it on YouTube. And the intro was so familiar that I called my mom. This is one of the last combos we had, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, do you remember this show? Oh, it's done by... And she was like, yeah, I used to like sit with you and watch that on ZNBC. And I still remember the intro and everything from when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. But that show shows what happened to Africa. Right. That's all I'm going to say. Without diving too much into it, mm-hmm. on a political, on a spiritual, on a... You know what I mean? On a cultural level, it shows like how Africa was altered. And it's on YouTube. So anyway, and it's on YouTube. Does that? Does does it's does free. your? <laughs> you know what I mean? Does your? Does your? <laughs> I ain't charging um, you for this shit. Does your? Um, what what do I call it? Ideology, right? Mm-hmm. Does it does does it marry with uh, what um, uh, you know? What what's his name? I can't believe I just forgot the name. Gaddafi. Gaddafi. Mm. Yes. Does it marry with his? I mean, that's a little bit. It would be careless of me. But that's what we're trying to say. Uh, we're, we're, trying to, we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to come up with the United States of Africa. Yeah. So that particular thing, uh-huh. just that part, right. <laughs> I agree. I don't know about his methodology of arriving at this, uh-huh. right? But however, that I agree with. Right. That particular idea that it's simple, guys. If we can even if we can bargain mm. as a group, mm-hmm. we can get more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? In the world of business, in the world of world business. So, um, okay, fine. In the world of world business. So we're, we're, on, we're on three, right? Yeah. I think we should, religion, like, we should find a way to break down the Religion, borders, these confidence, borders. Uh, you know, break down the borders. Mm-hmm. I gave you two, you gave me one. Give me another one. Uh, I'd, love, I'd like us to control our media. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, yes. I've yes. been ready for you, bro. I've been prepping. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, I taught. I taught to the. Agree. I'm tired of seeing I Africans taught, oh with flies God. on their fucking mouth. I'm sick of that shit. Because I've, for the, you know what happened this week? For the first time, I realized I'm seeing what a war looks like when it's broadcast in a humane way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, that's what I'm mad about. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, oh. <laughs> we we are, we are, let me tell you something. And, you know. Uh, There's not a with, single fly with, in all, that footage, bro. With all due <laughs> respect to all media. <laughs> that guy call it white on white crime. Yeah. <laughs> with all due respect to all media, okay? There's always the 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 number if the if if there's going to be a news story yeah. that's going to make it, for example, on the BBC, mm. it always seems to be that negative yeah. type yeah. story. We've got a history of being ill-reported. Yeah. Just say that. CNN, we BBC, like everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always like. It's, and for me, it's like Africans don't realize that. Oh. Our best presenters are being bought 
our best like our best people are going to work in these other establishments. Yeah, brain they, drain. They don't exist here. So why don't we I heard one of the people one of the leaders of one country, I can't remember which one it was, what an African country was like, yeah, I'd like us to build a guild mm-hmm. of like African media houses mm-hmm. that overlook the image of, of Africa. Africa. Thank you. The image. The image. Like I said, I am tired of you seeing know? African kids what? with fucking flies on their noses. That is old. Bombs and whatnot. What 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 I'm does it look sick like? Of that Have you ever seen that? Uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, and and hey uh, to our listeners, I want you to uh, look this up, please. So if you when you're watching a, 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 a an American cartel movie, mm. okay. There is what you call color grading. <laughs> There's what you call color grading. You're talking about so, a brown filter. If you, if, if, <laughs> trying, the if, if America, movie. if America, you know, in a Hollywood movie is trying to portray, uh, you know, uh, Mexico, for example, yeah. the color grading is going to be what? Yeah, that's it's going cool. to be brown. Yeah. Look, man. But then I'm, when you look at Mexico, I'm also, look, I'm also <laughs> just I mean? tired of complaining about how other people depict us. The, and this let's is dip- why I would like us to start depicting critic, ourselves. Critic, 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 critic. I'm not just wanna, complaining about how we get depicted. Critic, listen, listen. I, are you African? I'm speaking to you right now. Are you African? Write. Yeah. Write your stories. Okay? Tell your stories. Tell your stories. Do film about the stories. Yeah. All right? Draw the stories. Mm-hmm. Paint the stories. Okay? Do speeches about the stories. Uh, do do talks about the stories. Do you know why? Sing songs about Rap about the stories. Do, you know why? do it. Do you know why? Uh huh. Because everybody else is doing so. Exactly. Everybody else is telling the African stories. The most important story in the world right now. How come? How come that it's me? It's their biggest story. This is where everything is coming from right now. How come me, me a Zambian, me a Zambian? I know jollof rice. I know, I know, I, uh, I know tam wine. Uh, what, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, I know palm wine tapa. Is it? What the fuck is that? I think it's you. You're going to learn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I'm then right. there is there is there is what? What, what? what? Give me a Nigerian delicacy. Uh, pepe soup. Pepe soup, right? How do I know that? Pepe soup with gari. With gari. <laughs> How do I know that? Yeah. I watched the movie. The media. Exactly. I watched the movie. I listened to a song. Yeah. All right. But I bet I'm a, a Nigerian won't know about the film Kubala. I mean, we can do that. Right? Right? We can do that. You know what and I mean? This becomes easier when we break down these fucking borders. Right. Right. This becomes really easier because you no longer look at it as I'm going to taste Nigerian food. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You begin to look at it as mm-hmm. I'm going to taste African food as an African. <laughs> uh, I have a fifth. Mm. One four, right? Yeah. I have a fifth. Brain drain. I think that our last, our, our, our fourth kind of touched on this a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now, brain drain. Is something that I am very much I'm against. Sorry, I just want to say insane in the main brain. Sorry, it had to <laughs> rappers, that. rappers. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Yeah. So, if if a, if a, if 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 an African goes to study abroad, that's fine. Yeah. But are they going to come back to Africa? Mm. Yeah. So, like you said before, we're losing a lot of minds. Yeah. To these. Other continents. Yeah. On top of the other things that we're losing minds to, we're also losing them to migration. Yes. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a lot of young like, so, uh, <laughs> a, listen. Migration. 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 Yeah. yeah. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you nab- uh, no it's fine. No, but so, you can. Because you already removed the item from the other item, right? No, I've, I've removed, yeah. I've, yeah, can you nab me uh, it's, in the, it's, an, in the, it's in the freeze a label this okay. item. So um um I don't. Uh, I don't. I. I want to. I want to put this in the in the most. No, no, no. I'll do it. <laughs> I want to put, put this in the most. Um, I'll do it. Cheers. I want to put this in the most non-controversial way possible. Yeah. Mm, why? <laughs> why do you not want to be? Because uh, I want to be in between. Okay. Yeah. Uh, between. Oh. I want. I'm the sexist. <laughs> <laughs> My mother, my mother, my mother, my mother, uh, 
looking for greener pastures moved to the US. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and because she, when, when she moved to the US, you know, it really helped the fam. You yeah. Know? So I don't want to shit on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I want to say though is this. Um, if you think that your society is not correct, if there's something that is bad about it, I think stay and change it. Yeah. You know, don't if we all don't, stay don't, and don't figure don't this out, we'll never have to go anywhere else. Exactly. Your kids would, will would, never I have would to want, go anywhere yes, else. Yes, I would want for people to come into my society because they're like, okay, yeah. you know, that's correct, that's correct, that's correct. I think I want to go there. Yeah. So when are we going to make Zambia the greener pastures? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, and you know what's nuts is we're the only ones who don't view it as the greener pastures. Mm. And that's why the migration is so blown because like it's us leaving and, and them coming. And you know what I mean? Like other people, other like people Europeans are coming and Americans are able to see us at our potential value. Right. You know what I mean? It's uh -huh. like, oh, this can be this. Mm -hmm. So they come here. We are so concerned with suffrage and religion and, and all these fucking nonsensical ideals, right? That right, we right. think this is hell. Right? Yeah. And we just, like, if we start to see it as something that tomorrow if you wake up, you can change this and you can change that and you can change this and you can change that it changes you begin to build your paradise and two generations down the fucking line nobody has to go anywhere my mother my mother you know my mother I mean? once said something and god rest her soul she didn't even know she was saying something powerful to me but she said something i mean you just think that i <laughs> know she didn't know i i don't think she did but um <laughs> I've got two siblings, man. Yeah. And my mother was trying to debate. She was in a dilemma. Should I come back to Zambia or should I bring my kids over here? Yeah. All right. But then every time she would discuss that with us, especially with me, right? She would say, William, if I was if I was going to start bringing you guys over here, I'd 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 grab you last. Mm. I was like, why? And she's like, I just know that you can. I just know that you can survive. Mm. That <laughs> state, yeah. I just know that you can survive. Yeah, that state, that shit. state, that statement. Even as an artist, I was like, I'm not going no fucking where. Yeah, man. All right. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in Zambia. All right. I, I, I grew up like even as a hip hop artist, right? Like you see crisis left, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. And everybody always told me, man, why don't you just? Everybody tells me every fucking day. You sound like idiots. I get by that the all way. the time. I you sound to me. You know what you sound like? You sound like fucking traitors of your country when you tell me that I'll be appreciated elsewhere. You sound like fucking treason. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You sound like you don't believe in your fucking self. Right. That's what you sound like. When you tell me, yo man, go to the States. They'll appreciate nigga for what? I don't wanna go anywhere. I don't want I don't I don't want to nigga, go for, anywhere. Have you ever been somewhere where you're not appreciated? My heart breaks when I see all those George Floyd videos. Mm -hmm. That's clearly someone not being a prick. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, where the fuck you want me to go? This is my home. This, <laughs> this, this is my home. This is where I'm at. This is my home. This is my home. This is my home. This is my land. Mm. All right? The air. All right? The earth. The trees. On everything. top of that, this is mine. Why don't you want me to fight for you? Exactly. It's that simple. What's up? Mm. What's wrong? What lack of value do you have in yourself that you think no one should no, be fighting for you? No, with your talent, you can go, you can go, go there. You can go. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. I'm here with you. Right here. I'm here with you. We're dying together. Yeah. Okay? If the ship goes down, this is the, 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 this is the Titanic. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you know who I am? You know who I am? You know who I am? I'm Kate that. Winslet. I'm that guy. Oh, I'm those guys. That I band. Swear I was gonna say Kate Winslet. No, I'm not Kate Winslet. <laughs> she she, she no, bitched out. You're like a pretty guy. I'm the I'm the violinist. <laughs> what do you call them? Yeah. The ship the is band. sinking. Yeah. And I'm playing a tune. Yeah. All right. If this ship is sinking, all right. 
I'm still gonna do my art. You know just what, to make you, you feel know better. I am? I'm the fucking captain of the shit. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, guys, this is nobody else can lose this but you. Yep. Nobody else can lose this shit but you. You know what I mean? If this is this is the only thing you can truly ever lose. Your home. You know? Your cabin. Your people. Your digari. Your fam. Your vogade. I love, I love, I love, I love my people. I love my country. I love this place, man. And I am, I'm going to do anything that I can yeah, to make it better. Yeah, if I'm going to have a kid, which I'm hoping I, sh- I, I, I will, yeah. all right, I want that kid to proudly say, my father did something to make it better. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. That's the greatness game. That's the greatness game. You know what I mean? That's the, That's the actual game. game of greatness. That's Motherfuckers it. trying to survive. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Nah. Motherfuckers are trying to to make it to their next meal. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. I'm like you're not you don't even understand where the meals come from. Yep. If that's how you're viewing shit, if you're living life meal to meal, mm-hmm. then you're not even thinking about the nigga who's making a living off you living like that. God damn it. You know what I mean? Five is where we are. Right? <laughs> no, yeah, we're at five. I think Six. we can we can nah we can cap it off. <laughs> right. I think five is enough. Yeah, right? it's enough. Five. We're gonna five is enough. Yeah, we're gonna sound like we we just shit on people. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Five is enough. Hey listen, uh the greatness game the greatness game is is about is about changing is about changing shit. Changing it's about what changing it is. the world. It's about, changing perception. It's about changing people's lives. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. You know, and that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, we're, we're not we're, saying that we have done it. We are we're doing not, it right now. Yeah, we are and doing this is it. The thing, and this is the thing. Maybe the greatness game is going to be you learning just how great you are. Yeah. Maybe you know what I mean? Maybe that's what this show is. Because I want, a, I want a kid. I want a kid to listen to our show and gain confidence from it. You know Man, I mean? they're gonna be listening to this shit as a study for the Zambian psyche 300 years from now. There you go. There you go. I'm not making shit that you can stop listening to after I, one week. Nah. That's not what I do. Uh, no, no, no. That's not no, what I'm no. fucking involved we're, 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 we're in. And that's why that. I think I'm the best fucking we're, artist we're, in this bitch. It's just me that. and Exile. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shout out Israel, whichever one you're getting called. And you peasants, and you peasants, by the way. Nobody, I listed my catalog. Nobody has that. You peasants, by the way. <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not insulting the peasants yet. Before we insult the no, peasants. No, no. What, 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 what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say, what I was gonna yeah. say was this. Uh, you thought we're joking around here. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> this, was, this is our most I philosophical <laughs> series. <laughs> I see what you're doing, you hater. Yeah, we're coming for you. Right? Anyway. We ain't coming for nobody. <laughs> what I wanted to say is this, man. Right. I really appreciate the people who appreciate the show. Yeah, me too. I really do because... I've genuinely, been, by the way, I've been genuinely. I've I've been around this entertainment thing for a minute, mm-hmm. right? And I've seen different audiences. Mm-hmm. You get the, the the Facebook audience. You get, right. you know what I mean. And on our our comment section for the YouTube page, we are getting a particular type of audience, and I really appreciate those motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. I me too. really appreciate me too. the people who can hear me swear the fuck swear like a sailor. Mm-hmm. And still hear what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, uh, people who respect uh, what we have to say about whatever, despite the fact that here we are, you know, taking a pint, yeah, you know, smoking a cig and whatnot, yeah. you know, that's changing the narrative. Yeah. So, uh, you know, shout out to those to those uh, peasants. Yeah. You know. And I mean? by the way, we are wrapping up at episode ten. For the season Of course Before that At the end of that I mean after episode 10 We are gonna have A live event Mm. So We're watching These comments For who's gonna get Free fucking tickets For this live event Exactly So make sure that Make sure that you uh, you, uh, You get those comments Coming and uh, you if like, you're feeling you shy, like your radio, <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? I'm not really right. Sure it's a promo. It's a promo. This is Avocado 92.5. <laughs> 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 
So make sure, make sure that, make sure that, don't feel shy. Don't make sure. Do it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> punch those, punch those comments through. But when do you, it when you view. Yeah, do it. Uh, punch those comments through. Want to know who you are. Want to see who you are. So that when we start giving out those free tickets. Yeah, man. I think episode yeah. 11 is going to be a live event. We're going to announce the job. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. That's how we're going to start season two. I like to do this in front of a live audience. Yep. I like to insult people to their face. Uh huh. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? And we're, we're going to be allowing hey, hecklers and hey, all that you stuff. in the third yeah. world. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you over there. <laughs> is that my head? <laughs> You, know? you look funny, yeah, yeah. but I yeah. really love this shit, man. You, yeah. you, 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 you got the juice, bro. You got the juice. Oh, before we go, I want to yeah. upload you. So I was driving around mm-hmm. uh, a couple of days back. Right. Happened to turn on the radio, uh-huh. right? Because I haven't yet put uh, the, the the music yeah, in yeah, the yeah. car, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So I happened to turn on the radio, and I heard you. Mm-hmm. On radio, right, right, and you 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 sounded good. You sounded yeah, like yeah. you sounded as good as I sounded back then. Ah. <laughs> you actually, actually, like actually, when you, te- when you texted me and you said I'm listening, mm. I just turned up the heat, man. Yeah. I was like, hey, now now I'm not even doing it for anybody. I'm doing yeah. it for my shout boy. Out, shout out Hot FM. If anybody in our listenership is listening, listen to them. Yeah, there you go. Shout out to Hot FM. Yeah, yeah. we're about spreading love over here. Of course, that's you what we do, I mean? and and hate. And hate too. Exactly. <laughs> there are some podcasts we don't like. <laughs> some podcasts he doesn't like. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man. Shit, bro. So, uh, fuck. I don't know how to end this. I don't know how to end this too. All right, you know let's what I mean? just finish it. I don't. Have, what? What the fuck are we supposed to? Do? I don't know. It's over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump. <laughs> Cabo, boom, man. Yeah.